After completing Italy, it was time for me to resign from Lazio. And with Dar still pursuing the DFB Pokal, he began making bids for new players such as Nianzu at centre-back, Paulinho in midfield and Anderson as a number 10. It was also announced that Cristiano Ronaldo would be retiring from his playing career. Although Dad did ask him to reconsider, but he never changed his mind. Don't leave me, please don't. Dad got most of his targets outside of João Polinho, who chose Spurs instead. My job at Lazio had finally been filled as David Moyes was appointed. And with the World Cup coming to an end, there were lots of international jobs popping up, just none in the Premier League. And the World Cup, by the way, was won by France, who beat Switzerland in the final on penalties. Dad had his first test in the European Super Cup as he fell 2-0 to a very good Chelsea side, who won the Champions League last season for the second time in a row. But at least he's through to the next round of the DFB Pokal, right? Dad, with the likes of Ronaldo, Schweinsteiger and Mertesacker retiring yeah. and Gundogan not signing on a new contract, you had to bring in basically three midfielders to replace them. I mean, I, like I said at the end of the last season, I've got players who are already in place to replace them, but I yeah. just wanted... I, I had money now to bring in stronger players, whether it be first-team player or a reserve for what I already had in. Yeah. That's what I'm looking to do now, especially making my midfield a lot stronger for if one gets injured or something like that, or for cup games, especially yeah. cup games for me. And it's, 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 I've got to, so I've really got to do that, really. So if we're resting a player, the next player that comes in is just as strong as him. And I think I've done that in this transfer window. Yeah, so 34-year-old Anderson came in, uh, £7.5 million pound from Real Madrid. Again, I that was just a bargain. Good. I've just thought, yeah. well, for £7.5 million, that's just a bargain. Yeah, really, as so. a backup for Hamas yeah. Rodriguez. Then you got Ben Tanker, 25-year-old, finally buying Spurs players. Yeah. Uh, 35 million pound player. from Porto. Yeah, really good indeed. Look at the the mental attributes on yeah. him, and he can play in multiple different that's positions. The, that's the best thing about it. Yeah. So. Yeah, as a natural, which you are now doing. Yeah. Bit of a tactical change. No <laughs> surprises there. Uh, you got Garcia as well, who fills in that midfield. Yeah, I've got um, two players playing that position now, who are just as good as each other now. Yeah, fantastic. Physicals on the lad. He spent a lot of money. 74 million pound from Chelsea, uh, but obviously it's. They won the Champions League last year. Yeah. So, you know, it's a good pickup, really. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And then finally, you got Nyanzu, who is a centre back option for £40 million, who actually starts ahead of Sergio Ramos. Yeah, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, I got this, when I seen this guy come up for 20 year old, I thought, well, I'm going to get him in as a replacement for Ramos, but I didn't think he'd take over from Ramos. So, yeah. Uh, that just goes to show how good he actually is. But maybe you're finally learning a lesson because there was no big players nope. on the outs. Oh, we had enough, uh, enough, enough people bids, to approach though. it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, there was quite a few players that they wanted. But 83 nope. million pounds there for Trent. You had a, a few for Jose Gaia, yeah. Valverde as well. Morata was quite a few different offers, but no, you stay true. I would have usually just gone and took, especially for Trent Alexander, I would have took that oh, 83 yeah. million and gone for that one. <laughs> yeah, just never learns his lesson. Uh, tactically, then, you have changed it to a positive 442 diamond narrow. Yeah. Uh, so you've got an anchor with your two defenders there. You've got a complete wing back in Trent who will be bombing forward. The Mazala will be filling that gap there. Rodriguez in behind your two strikers, which mostly is going to be awesome in Orlando really yeah. isn't it uh, if you pick your best 11 that is your best 11 yeah. pick right there so I mean that that's one of my favourite um, tactics as well in it so yeah. um, hopefully this will win it for me this time I've, I've sort of made the defence come midfield a uh, uh, lot stronger now so I'm hoping that I'm not going to concede goals, but with the forward line I've got, I still can score quite a few. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for now. Yeah. Uh, so your schedule so far this season, Dad, you've played in a couple of Super Cups in the DFL Super Cup. You won 5-2 against Hanover. Lost against Chelsea in the European Super Cup, but yeah. you were having injuries at the start of the yeah, season. Was, yeah. Like Orlando wasn't even in the lineup there. Uh, Wolfsburg, a one-all draw, yeah, though. That's a bit concerning for the first game, but... Hey, I'm not not interested in the league to be honest. No, with you. Patrick as long as, Finger scored. As long as I'm up and there and thereabouts, so my job doesn't look like it's getting threatened again. So yeah. um, I'm happy with that. I still after that still playing well though. DFB Pokal a 10-1 win away from home. Yeah, uh, but funny enough, the second leg, or the <laughs> second round is against Eintracht Frankfurt, but they that's are in way. the league below. Oh, so that should be okay. Oh, that's, that's handy for me then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Rostock 3 0 after they've just popped up Hansa Rostock there into the Bundesliga for the first time. And Bolkham 7 2. Yeah. With Dario Orlando scoring four goals. He's already got two hat tricks in three games. So he started well. That he's back. He yeah. is bang on form once again. Champions League group, though. This looks interesting, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, You've got to go to hell. I've got to go to hell, yeah. <laughs> and Galatasaray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Napoli and Real Madrid are the two teams in there that could cause you some troubles too. Yeah. I mean, I'm, 
last you don't season. Have to worry about was, it. Last season was brilliant for me, so I haven't got to worry about it at all about mm. the European games now. As long as I don't get something stupid and get me sacked, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but there we go. Speaking of getting sacked, none of the Premier League teams has decided to change managers no. this season, outside of Liverpool, who, by the looks of it, their manager had retired. So it did that weird thing where you can't apply, but they had already lined one up. Yeah. Roberto Mancini took over the role, uh, so I'm kind of just sat around waiting. I love the Liverpool way, it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I probably would have spat at the job application <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't want to take that. Um, but yeah, there's just, there, nothing came up at all. So I'm kind of looking at the start of the season and going, oh, I need something to happen, yeah. I guess. I mean, it's giving me a free season. I, yeah, I, I've got to take advantage of it. Arsenal right now are completely dominant. They still have Arsene Wenger. Like he's Ooh. been there for so <laughs> long now. Uh, so he's been there for ages, and they've got a great team with the likes of Neymar as their star player. Um, they're doing very well. They won the Premier League last season. Manchester City again. I've got quite a good team um, that they've managed to bring through, and Sadio Mane is their key player. So. I mean, there's still obviously the options of Manchester United, where you were previously. Chelsea have just won the Champions League, so I very much doubt they're looking to sack Billy Davies. No. Uh, who moved from Portsmouth, <laughs> if you remember. After, after keeping that after world keeping class player. World class midfielder yeah. last year, he went on uh, and took the Chelsea role last season. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Liverpool started badly. Yeah. Maybe. They could pop Roberto up. Roberto Mancini might not be there they for got very Gareth long. Bale. They have got Gareth Bale as their vice captain. They've got Breno as well as their key player, uh, 32 years of age. So, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of just going to keep my eyes open and see what happens, really. Definitely don't want the Spurs job. Nope, not for me. Uh, I want to take a rival's job like somebody else sat on this table. But there we go. We'll have to see what happens throughout the season and see if anything pops up. Or am I just going to be twiddling my thumbs while Dad tries to win the DFB Pacal for the fourth time. It took until November before the first Premier League job came up through Aston Villa, who had some decent players, but my eyes were set on the Liverpool job, as that popped up as insecure following a bad run of form by Roberto Mancini. Dad continued to control the league in Germany, but of course his main target was the cup. And he progressed past Eintracht Frankfurt after going 2-0 down, 5-2 to win the game. With the next round being a lot easier against local rivals 18-16 Munich, winning 6-1. But this is where it gets difficult as the quarterfinal draw puts Bayern Munich against Bayer Leverkusen. Job-wise, no other managers were sacked, but the Liverpool manager Mancini was constantly under threat with his new job insecure every couple of weeks. However, legendary Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger announced his retirement at the end of the season. He's taken Arsenal to multiple trophies, including the Champions League, and kind of dominated English football, giving Arsenal 20 league titles in total. The problem is, there's nowhere to apply for it yet, and it could be done behind the scenes without it becoming available, which has happened before or when he eventually retires. Back in Germany, Dad progressed through to the semi-finals with a win away to Leverkusen. But the struggle came in that semi-final as he faced Hertha Berlin, and although his Bayern Munich side took the lead, Hertha had been great this season and managed to turn it around to 2-1 very quickly. Alvaro Morata managed to equalise to make it 2-2 before half-time, but in the second half, Seiko Koita and Timo Werner bagged two Hertha goals, knocking Bayern Munich out of the DFB Pokal once again. Another heartbreaking season for Dad's glory hunter hopes. And maybe I was looking to rub salt into the wound, but the Tottenham Hotspur job became available, and I decided to apply for it after waiting around for so long. It wasn't too long after before I was in for an interview, and as fast as you like, Spurs were offering me the job, my first in the Premier League. Dad, a semi-final loss against Hertha Berlin. Can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. I just give them an hammering about 6-1 about four weeks before this game. I know my main striker was out injured, but I still felt I had a good enough side to, to beat them as well. So, oh, I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. A current Spurs player scored yeah. one of the goals as well. I don't like him now, neither. <laughs> Are you still a great team? I don't... James Rodriguez and Orlando was the team yeah. missing from the starting I'm, 11. Yeah, I, I've just got it again. Mm. I absolutely have to go. I, I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm stuck here again, like I was at Man United. Do I look for a fresh, fresh move or something like that, and just go again and try and stop you from winning the anything wherever you go? I don't know. 
gutted. Tough. Uh, well, you won the Bundesliga again, so you keep your job. I should do with that side. I mean, I actually Hertha was actually second. Yeah, I mean, if you went over the results, I beat him 6 1 the game before, a couple of yeah. weeks before. So, yeah, absolutely gutted. Well, there we go. You dominated the player statistics as well with the goals and the average rate in the player of the matches, all Orlando. But he wasn't there yeah. when you needed him most. Uh, anyway, to the Premier League, because that's where I am right now. At Tottenham. <laughs> I want to take a rival's job like somebody else sat on this table, but there we go. Gee, just to knock me down even more, there you're even at my team now. <laughs> Come on. At Tottenham, let's see what we can do. Now, Harry Kane is there. It's the new gen version of Harry Kane, but he's still very good. Still absolutely amazing. 29 years of age. He is the main player in this Tottenham Hotspur side. The key player. They've got the likes of Lucas Hernandez, who's also there as captain. They haven't got an amazing team, that's all I'll say. But they've got uh, some really good players, including the likes of Paulinho, who rejected you at the start of the season, yeah. Dad, and went to there. And uh, Militao is another one who's uh, not too bad either. So, And Thiago Almeida is also on the left-hand side there. So they got some good players. Uh, Trans budget, £77 million, so it's not it's a good. bad trans budget. It's good when you think what I was getting at United. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. We'll see what we can do with this. I mean, the trouble is, Arsenal are champions, and Arsene Wenger is retiring, which could be a good thing, but it's kind of like you can't apply for the job. No. So I don't know... You know what what to do there because <laughs> I probably would have gone. I probably would have gone to Arsenal uh, if I know if you, you know if you if I knew that you could apply for it. If the job comes up, I could go for that. You could. I know it's Arsenal and I'm a Spurs fan, but if the I've job to... comes up, I might quit Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to try and stop you. So because he is retiring in, this year. If I could come in and do something in the Premier League and stop you from doing it, I'd be even better. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether to wait and see whether that Spurs job comes up because that would just be a... Uh, the, the Arsenal job comes up because that's just... I mean, they lost two games. Yeah. They got the best team. Uh, well, they won the Champions League not so long ago. They got the best team in the Premier League By the last two seasons. Way. Yeah, I mean, the Liverpool job came up about six or seven times as insecure. Yeah. Then Somehow he, win, he kept his job. Then he'd win one game and he'd be all right again. And yeah, he'd, he'd lose, lose three. three in a row, <laughs> go back to being insecure again. Uh, Chelsea was also rough at some points under Billy Davies, but I think that Champions League win last year managed to keep him. So, yeah, he's doing all right. But I took Tottenham back up to eighth place. They had a bad end of the season, which meant we stayed out of the European spots. But actually, that's a good thing because you don't I don't need to. No. I just need the Cups. They were already out of the FA Cup by the time I took them over. Uh, so it's just dependent on what I can do with them for next year so as you can see round of 16 they were already out of the UEFA Cup uh, and FA Cup they were out in the third round by Everton so it was a bad result really for them but dad yeah I mean you're knocked out the round of 16 by Sporting in Champions League yeah. the semi-final of the DFB Pagal next season you've got £80 million should you wish to stay and currently there's no jobs knocking around right now so at the minute you're kind of left to yeah. what you have here. So how did the other teams do in the in the other country? How did Spain do? That's what the other country I've got to go to, isn't it? Yeah, so, what so happened there? Real Madrid won it. Barcelona, Barcelona finished in fourth I'm, under Pellegrini. I'm surprised they don't... They, they're not usually happy with like that. They always second no, manager on that. Because they also only reached the Copa del Rey semi-final. Oh, no, they lost in the final to Valencia. Uh, my old side and they lost to Manchester City in the round of 16 in the Champions League but their job is I mean it doesn't say that he is insecure or anything no. he seems to be absolutely fine and where did Valencia finish as well? they finished in second place in second were they? yeah so right now there's not a lot really that you can could go for in that country no either in the two I that you do need. with them being the Barcelona jock I could do with that one yeah. definitely yeah uh, Bill Bow actually got relegated, yeah. which is the first time, I think, in their history. Uh, and the other Harry Kane was the second top scorer in that league. So, there we go. Right, what happens at the start of this season? Well, the next season, because who knows? That Arsene Wenger job, retiring, should that come available, what what would happen? What, what could happen? Don't know. We'll have to find out.
No trophies after almost a whole season on the sidelines, but I can now have a crack at the English competitions, finally to complete Glory Hunter. And you might say, with a season out doing nothing, this was a year wasted for Dad, who failed to gain that DFB Pokal once again. However, so soon after the season had finished, the Real Madrid manager retired also, and that left the role available for the first time in years, and Dad applied for it immediately.